Hi, in this video, we'll be covering next page automation. This is the process of having data miner click through multiple pages for you and scrape the data. This is only available if the uh, next page automation feature is added to the recipe. Um, but once it's added, it's very easy to use. So let's go ahead and take a look at that now. I'll open up data miner and we'll click the scrape this page button. We'll go to page scrape because this is a feature within page scrape. And then the next step is to actually look at the different recipes. Uh, you can find a recipe or you can build a recipe with navigation um, and it'll be represented by a little book symbol in the bottom right corner of the recipe. So if it has a book, it means data miner can click through multiple pages and scrape. Um, if a recipe does not have this symbol, you can always add the navigation yourself. Um, this is done within the recipe creator tool and it's done under the nav section um, of the different tabs. Uh, so I'll go ahead and for this demonstration, just use a recipe that uh, has one, but to add it, uh, you, I would recommend taking a look at our recipe creator tutorials and we'll have one that covers navigation there and that will help, uh, help you with adding it to your recipe. Cool, so for this example, I'll just do the uh, sandbox dash URLs. So I'll click the preview button and this will give us a quick example of what will be scraped. Uh, so we have the URL name, these look good. So what I want to do is click the next page uh, automation option out of our scrape options. And then this is where it'll kind of open up a, uh, a next page settings uh, section. Um, so this is where you'll tell data miner how many pages you wish to scrape. Um, it's 10 by default, but you can update that to any large number. So it's say 100, or you can do an exact amount. On this page, we only have five, so we would put five. Um, that said, you can put any large amount because data miner will actually click until it reaches the end. And then once there is no longer a next button, it will stop. There is also an option to change the, change the delay between the pages. This is what allows the page to fully load um, before the scrape. So this will prevent any sort of issues um, with missing data. Um, and it will also kind of create that uh, human element as it clicks through multiple pages. Um, so you don't ever have to worry about the site um, being suspicious of your different activity. So that said, let's go ahead and say uh, five pages and then scrape um, eight seconds is good for this example. So let's click now, scrape five pages. So as you can see, data miner is now clicking to the next page. And as it's doing that, it is gonna be accumulating the data. Nope, that is an old example, we can close that. So one thing to be aware of is you do need to keep this tab open because this is where all the data is coming from. Um, and you also need to keep the data miner window open as well because this is what's kind of running the entire process. If you ever have to work uh, while this is happening, we recommend just doing a new tab and then taking the original one and pulling that to a new window so it's kind of independent and can work uh, by itself. Cool, so we're at page five. So now we can go back to data miner. Give it one more second to finish the scraping. Cool, so now as you can see, we have our output here. Uh, we have a total of 20 rows and uh, you can review that here. You can see we have all the different data from the 20 rows of the, uh, oh, wrong one, of the uh, five pages. So now all you need to do is just simply download the data. Um, this is also the first step to building a crawl. Uh, since we acquired a list of URLs. So if you're interested in learning about crawls, uh, which is where data miner will visit each one and uh, apply a second recipe to scrape data, um, we recommend taking a look at the crawl video. Uh, that will be the next one we have. And uh, I guess if you have any questions, definitely send us an email. Our, our email is support at dataminer.io. And I guess thanks for watching.